Good evening once again everybody. Uh, in today's video I'm gonna try to prove um, something that I've been trying to convince Vlad and Roman, the creators of what used to be called Simvim Cockpit, which is now called HCSCI. Um, I'm trying to convince them why we need to be able to edit every single parameter for custom commands and data refs because um, ever since they started doing their uh, basically their uh, integrated uh, radio panels and GPS and uh, all those other systems that that are supposed to be basically all-in-one solutions um, they seem to think that they should work straight out of the box in any airplane regardless of what custom data refs or commands that airplane might use and I've been trying to tell them for at least six months maybe uh, almost a year that they do not work with all the airplanes because uh, the reasoning that I've used is that you know sometimes I just want to have as many of you guys know my setup already I just want to have a few buttons for certain functions that I might use a lot but I still use my virtual cockpit just like I am using right now in, in the monitor right so I want to have the ability to press certain buttons but I still will look at the at the cockpit in my monitor to see you know the the frequencies or whatever you know whatever changed um, so I'm not building a complete cockpit so he claims and they told me again just a couple of days ago that if you build an instrument um, outside in the real world physical then everything should work so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate and to prove that it doesn't work so that's why it would be very good if you guys would give us the ability to change every single parameter um, you know it would make everybody's life so much easier rather than having to bug you guys all the time to can you please open up this this parameter so that we can change it um, you guys have already made it very clear on the website on the on the literature which apparently nobody likes to read um, that we are not supposed to change parameters that work by default and I'm sure that if they work nobody's gonna try to change them because they work but for those of us that use many different airplanes that do want to have the ability to change them we come across many times obstacles you know because oh you're not allowed to change that one because it's supposed to work straight out of the box so I'm gonna show you guys here what I'm talking about alright so I built myself this little um, ADF panel here and I absolutely have no need for it because you know I'm not I wasn't exactly trying to use um, this panel I was trying to use the timer reset switches you know for certain airplanes that I fly which I will talk about a little bit later but the whole reason why I built this whole panel is just to prove this point to prove to them to Vlad and Roman that even if you have a physical instrument you know that you can see and touch that it will not definitely work with every airplane so first we're gonna talk about the default Cessna 172 here okay so here we have the ADF panel for the default laminar research Cessna 172 and before we go any further I'm gonna go ahead and open up the input options so that you can see that all my buttons and switches um, are working the way they should so you know I'll start off with the ADF as you can see it does change from antenna to ADF in the airplane also I don't have an indicator here um, so it doesn't really matter but I'm just gonna go through all the examples the BFO you can also see that it does change right there so that's good the frequency it does swap the frequencies let me let me change that one just so they can be different enough so that one's working okay now this airplane it doesn't use the flight time and the elapsed time you know timers and it doesn't use the set and reset button uh, because they're blanked out so you know even though if I press them they don't do anything but you can see um, up in the input options there that my buttons are programmed correctly and they do work and then I have the power button which instead of a toggle switch or a momentary push button I just have a latching a latching button so 
that works fine and then the frequencies um, you know this one's for the the first two numbers which works fine and then we can switch the third number and then if we press down on it see so that's not even working either I had not even tested that out so now if I go to the airplane here let me see yeah and if I press that it doesn't change anything so let me see okay so I can change it there there we go so that's changing it right there but let me see yeah this one right here it only changes the the third digit I cannot get it to change the fourth digit so no matter what I do I can't get it to change the fourth digit so now that's a whole different problem now um, because if it doesn't even work in the default Cessna 172 I really don't think it's gonna work in the other ones either okay so now we're inside the airfoil lab Cessna 172 which is my preferred Cessna 172 to fly because it is a lot a lot more um, graphically pleasing and up until recently when they put out an update that it looks like it kind of messed up the trim um, characteristics on it it actually flies a lot better than the default one so this is the one I prefer to fly not the default one um, so we're gonna go ahead and try the same tests again and see what happens with this one okay now this airplane here has um, it has a fully functional ADF uh, instrument so it all the buttons on this one work as you see but unfortunately I cannot get them to work on my unit out here because it uses custom data refs and commands like I've been saying so basically having even having the whole instrument the way I have it now here it would be pretty much unusable with this airplane because it doesn't make the 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 things in the airplane actually change so we're gonna see that right now so here I have the two frequencies and um, once again once again I'll bring out the input options just so that you can see that all the buttons are still responding but so if we do the ADF Okay. you can see that I'm pressing it and it's showing up on the plug-in options but nothing is happening on the instrument in the airplane which means that the commands are not getting sent most likely I can't prove that for sure but now if I press the button on the airplane you can see that it does change and I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the data ref tool just so that we can see So if we go to commands and we put ADF, when I press this one, nothing happens. When I press the one in the airplane, you can see that it's a custom command. All right, so now let's try the BFO. The BFO doesn't do anything either here on the button, but if I press the one here, it does do something there and we get another custom command now we're gonna try the frequency swap so the frequency swap here with the button works um, but you might have noticed another problem right now I have the that the flight time timer running but the display over here doesn't show the flight time it only shows the frequency now if I switch over what's supposed to happen when I press the frequency it's supposed to take it out of timer but it doesn't all it does is swap the frequencies you see um, now if I press the flight the frequency button on the airplane it switches from the timer to the other frequency the standby one and now you know you can see that the frequencies do swap which is the correct behavior but this button doesn't do this custom data data ref or custom command that says uh, ADF frequency so it doesn't take it out of timer um, and I'm sure there's another data ref I have them all written down 
Now if I change now if we press the flight time button here um, on the instrument here it doesn't do anything but what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to switch it to the timer and you can see that we got another custom command up here okay now now that we have the timer I'm supposed to be able to if I switch with this one right here I'm supposed to be able to switch yeah it's not doing anything I'm supposed to be able to switch to the elapsed time like that you know but that didn't do it and then with a with the last button I'm supposed to be able to reset it to I was supposed to stop it and then reset it and then start it again but when I press it you can see that that we got a command up there that came up which is a ADF one timer but you can see that it's not stopping the timer and it's not resetting it now if I press it on the airplane here so right there I stopped it now I reset it and now I started counting again so that button doesn't work either and the frequencies now we're gonna go ahead and look at the frequency so I'll take it out of timer mode which I have to do here because this button is not doing what it's supposed to do now let me see I can change the first digit here the first and second digits and then I can change the third digit and then when I press the button here I cannot change the fourth digit still only the only the third one I have to come to the airplane over here and pull on it and I still can change it with that but I could change it with this oops sorry wrong one right there so once again you cannot change the you know the other digit with with the knobs out here all right so as you can see that even having the whole instrument out here that I just built um, just to try to prove this point I'm supposed to be able to use it with any airplane and be able to fly without having even a virtual cockpit in my monitor but I think I just made a point that that is not the case so even though I do have the instrument already here it doesn't really work it doesn't it doesn't make the changes happen and even if they were happening there's no way I would know because uh, the screen over here is not displaying the timer and it's not displaying it's not doing the reset for the timer or switching of the timer mode so it basically does no good and this is just one example you know I've I've found um, the Viper jet the flight J sim Boeing 727 and other airplanes uh, the helicopter the Bell 407 helicopter that I fly that have a ton of custom data reps and commands yeah so there's nothing really that I can do because the custom converter page will not let you select the parameters to custom data refs and commands for you know the radios the ADF radio the transponder the GPS the GPS 430 and 530 and I also have some airplanes that have a custom GPS unit where the default ones don't work either so basically the point of this video is to ask Vlad and Roman the creators of what used to be called Simvim cockpit which is now HCSCI um, to just allow us to please change any parameter just uh, you already made it abundantly clear on the website like I said before that if something is working by default you don't need to change it and I think I mentioned that before if something is working by default I don't think anybody's gonna try to change it but if it's not working that's when we want to have the opportunity to change it but at the current moment the way things are we can do that so basically even if we build an instrument it's pretty much unusable with certain airplanes so that's pretty much it that's that's the whole point of this video hope you guys um, get something out of it and uh, if uh, enough of us maybe you know try to convince them to allow us to change every single parameter then maybe our home cockpits can become a lot more useful all right well that's it for this one thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one